Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be my June hits and misses. I'm sure you've all seen these sorts of videos, it's just the products I've been loving and I've not been so much loving in the month of June and so on and so forth for every other month. Um, I love watching these videos, I like seeing what people have been disappointed in and what people have been loving and it kind of gives an opportunity to try out new products and avoid products if you can relate to the the person you're watching. So I think I'm going to start off with the products that I've been loving the most in the month of June and this one will come to no surprise if anyone knows me. I love the Batiste Dry Shampoo Plus in Beautiful Brunette. This just doesn't give me a cast, like a white cast in my hair whatsoever and because of like the summer months where like my hair's a little bit more oilier and I don't really want to wash it every day so just like strip it from the natural oils and the ends. I've been using this a lot lately um, and basically Batiste have come out with a line, it's not exactly new or anything, they've come out with a line that's kind of got a tinted colour into them so they've got like a, a black one for obviously black hair, um, a blonde one, a brunette one, um, there's like a darker like brown as well um, but basically yeah I've been using Beautiful Brunette which I think is the one up from Blonde and I just love this so much just because it doesn't give me that white cast that just normal dry shampoos give me um, and I'm sure if anyone does use dry shampoo you're familiar with spraying it too close going to rub it in and it's got like a white cast in your roots and I completely hate that so much because I feel like I have to wash my hair that night whereas this one I can kind of get away with it two more days without washing it which is kind of gross but at the same time it's saving my hair so I love this so much it's budget friendly it's like three pounds I think and you can sometimes get it on offer at Superdrug for like £1.50 so love it. The next product that I've been really loving this month and I've just run out of it unfortunately is the Leighton Denny Miracle Mist Speed Drying Spray for Nail Polish and I think I received this in a glossy box or something I can't quite remember where I got this from but you can get this from M&S and I think it's about £12 which is a little bit pricey but it is really what it says on the tin, it is a miracle mist. So for this mist to work all you've got to do is just paint your nails and let them go tacky so just like leave them for a minute or two and then just spray this on about 10 centimetres away and it just like performs miracles. It's like a cold, I, I don't know how to explain it, it's just like a cold like aerosol on your fingers and it just instantly dries it, it's amazing and just especially because I've been out and about, especially in the summer months like I said, it's just been amazing for me to just paint my nails, get it done, go. I love this and I'm going to be repurchasing this. Again another one that is not new is the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. I have just been going to these colours all month, like not even just this month but kind of like the summer, they're just really summery tones. Um, so I've been diving into this palette a lot lately. What's more as well as the eyes, this shade here called Safe Word is a really really great contour shade. It's kind of got that cool undertone that just contours the face really nicely without looking too muddy. I don't really know how that it works so well but it's been really great and then I've used Dominatrix a lot in my brows so it's been kind of a multi-use palette for me and this one here frosting is actually just like a really nice highlight shade if you just want to use it lightly on your cheekbones and stuff so again it's just been a really nice multi-use product for me and I've just been loving it. My next monthly favourite are the Essence Blush Play palettes these are £4 so such a steal and you get three different blush shades in here um, and my favourite one is actually not this one it's the other one here which is Play It in peach which is this beautiful palette here and then there's play it in pink which is very very similar but just more of a pinker undertones and this is more peachy so either or are really lovely but I do like the peachy one more and um, again like I said they're four pounds and you get like a, a lighter blush a darker blush and then kind of like a highlighty blush um, so it's just like a, a general cheek palette I recently used these in a tutorial I think it was my raspberry metallic eye so I'll link that down below if you want to check that out but I love these blushes they're so pigmented if you've watched me before you know that I do love Essence blushes, they're so cheap, so affordable and the payoff is just brilliant so I've been loving these palettes and they're just, they're just gorgeous, look at them, they're just gorgeous so highly recommend these, they're worth your penny, please go out and buy one, you will not regret it. So my next June favourite is the Hoola Contour Quickie Stick and this is amazing. Now this is kind of a new release from Benefit, obviously it's like their summer sort of collection. They did the Dandelion um, sort of like highlight, they did the Hoola Light, they did the Hoola Contour Quickie Stick, they did the California Blush, they did quite like a few different sort of summer releases. Um, now I've tried the Hoola like um, liquid bronzer and I did not like it too much, I thought it was very orangey and it kind of made me look like an Oompa Loompa. So when I tested this out I didn't actually have very high hopes for it but then I started seeing people talk about it more on the internet and I was like okay 
maybe it's worth me looking at it i'll go check it out i have not stopped wearing this i've currently got it on now you can't really tell it's just that really nice subtle contour and bronze at the same time and it's just amazing just to throw on and the packaging is the packaging is bloody gorgeous i love the packaging um, and if i just swatch on the back of my hand you can just see how easy that was to swipe on it's so rich and creamy it's like butter on your face it's so easy to blend out let me just like can you see like it almost blends out to nothing but it just like leaves that lovely lovely sort of very buildable bronzy color it's not too orangey it's not too cool it's just that perfect perfect cream contour and i'm completely obsessed I've already bought a backup, so that's how much I love it. Again, probably won't come to a surprise to most of you, but I am still in love with the Sport FX brow pencil. I've just recently like got another two of these for backups. I just think they're really, really great. Kind of like the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz, but on a much affordable basis. Got the little spoolie on one end, and got the pencil on the other. I'm obsessed, need I say more? It's seven pounds and you can get buy one, get on free. Amazing go get it. I love it. Another favourite of mine has actually been the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Illuminating Foundation. This isn't at all new to my collection. It's just been one of those foundations that I feel like I've been gravitating towards too. Um, it's just got that lovely dewy finish. It's not too high a coverage. Personally, I don't like high coverage in the summer. I tend to sweat quite a lot um, and I just get too hot and I just don't want lots of cake on my face. So I like a little bit of a medium coverage that I know is not going to look too greasy and like broken up makeup on my face you know so I've just been gravitating towards this foundation I think this is like 11 pounds on Beauty Bay it's so worth it I find that it applies beautifully yeah I just I just love it and it's been really great for the summer months so it's a fave another favorite of mine has been the Mikado white chocolate sticks I don't know why but I've just been obsessed with Mikado at the moment I had a few sticking in my birthday cake to like decorate it it was a bit of a it was a crazy birthday cake but I loved it and they're just so scrumptious they're just like chocolate on a stick of biscuit and I don't I don't understand what the sort of craze in my head is about it but they're just so good and they're like a pound and they're just so easy to eat so easy to eat so my last favorite are the Malam rocks I have got through two packets of these and I only got introduced to them two weeks ago um I love these so much and if you're familiar with the Malam pinballs they're kind of exactly the same, but in a rock, like, shape. And I know you're going to be like, okay, what's the big deal? These taste amazing. They're all, like, in different shapes. Unfortunately, I don't actually have a bag to show you, apart from this one, because I remembered to keep the packet, because I've eaten them all, because they are so tasty. Um, you get the different flavours. So you've got Super Strawberry, Obvious Orange, Apple Alarm, Lucky Lemon, and Bombastic Blue, Blue, uh, Blue Raspberry. And like you can see just there, they're all like different shapes, kind of different sizes. They're not all the same shape, but they've kind of got that typical Mawam, chewy, like juicy texture. I friggin' love them. And if you haven't tried these by now, please go do it. They are so yummy. I'm sure they're not good for you, but they're yummy. Okay, so now for the products that did not work out for me so much in the month of June. And the first one I'm gonna dive into is this thing. Now this, didn't technically get introduced to me this month. Um, I've actually had it in my drawers for a while. I tried it at like, uh, like March time and I kind of didn't like it, threw it in my drawer and never saw it again until I bought it out a couple of weeks ago to try it out again to see if my love for it was still not there. Um, and it's not. I hate it so much. This is the one dry shampoo that I would avoid like the plague. So it is Batiste which is very unusual because I love all of Batiste's dry shampoos but this one this one has not not got my love and it's supposed to be an XXL a volume dry shampoo and I thought this would be great because I haven't actually got much volume in my hair. I've got a lot of it but it's very fine and it falls kind of flat on my head so I thought this would be great. However it's hairspray it's hairspray. I don't really get it. So when I apply it to my hair, you know, just like normal, sprayed a bit next to my roots, like maybe this far away, went to go rub it in and it felt like I had sticky hands. And I was like, ugh, what the hell? And if you ever had that sensation where you like spray hairspray on your hands, you can feel like your hands all like getting sticky in the creases like of your fingers. And I was like, ew, no, gross. But because of the white cast in my hair, like I had to rub it out somehow, 
but I was kind of like making my hair stick to one another so it was like hairspray and dry shampoo in one and my hair was just like getting into a frizz ball of sticky gross white mess and I do not, I do not recommend I do not recommend. The next product that I've got will be of no surprise to any of you who have watched my L'Oreal Fine Flowers like um, OK or No Way I think it was or tested uh, video. I'll link it down below if you want to watch it. I basically tried out the whole L'Oreal Fine Flowers range that they've just brought out and this thing I have tried. It looks like I haven't used it very much but I have actually used it maybe I don't know about five times this month. Um, I still hate it. I still hate it. A lot of comments were on that video saying I wasn't using it correctly and that I shouldn't have used it on my eyes. Okay, a tip that I shouldn't have. But it was like burning around my nose, like here, even though it was like like the top of my cheek, it was like burning like around any delicate skin and I just don't like this. And looking on the back of it, literally the third ingredient after water and glycerin is alcohol. Um, and you can just smell the alcohol, you can feel the alcohol, my skin feels dry after it. If you love this, fair enough, but for my dry skin and my, like, I'm kind of sensitive in some areas, I did not like this. I will not be using this, maybe other member of my family can, but the little tiny amount I've used, no bueno, I do not like. So my next product is a bit of a weird one. Now, I went onto Pinterest and I was looking at, like, you know, the makeup dupes, they have, like, loads of pins like that, and I can't remember what this was uh, a dupe for, to save my life, I cannot remember, but it was, like, a high-end like thin foundation and this is just the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream and I've never used a BB cream to be honest like I'm not really a massive BB cream user I'd rather just use a thinner and more opaque foundation um but this is this is awful so this is supposed to be like a universal shade um and if you can just see the color of that in the nib there's no way that is universal so if I just put a bit on the back of my hand you'll be able to see that this is straight up orange now, no way are lighter skin tones, darker skin tones, any skin tone apart from a tangerine gonna fit this. I don't know if you can actually see the colour of that properly, but it is orange. It's got no shade to it whatsoever, so it's not like it's sort of, you can't mix it and then it gets like lighter on a thing. It just, it's orange and it's not good. It's not good. I don't know how any skin tone can possibly pull this off, but on my skin, it's not good and it smells like ass. it literally smells disgusting so I will not be using this ever again. For the next product I kind of have a very love-hate relationship with this and this is the Yes2 Cotton Protects Minimizes Irritation Comforting Facial Wipes. So the packaging gets an A++, it's just like this beautiful wipe packet that's got really nice sort of uh, like packaging, really sort of attractive, got a nice little trap door to keep it all nice and wet inside and another flap to keep it all wet and moist. I love the packaging, I have a real like I don't know, like a real uh, like irritation when wipes are not wet. It like, it grinds my gears to another level. It's like my button that is constantly pushed a lot of the time. When companies sell a wipe and they're like, oh yeah, it's our wet wipes, and they're bone dry. No. No, if it's going to be wet, make it like wet. I want it to be soaking. I like a soaking wet wipe, and these are really nice for that. They are nice and wet. However, these wipes smell like baby wipes, so I just feel like I'm wiping my face with a pooey wet wipe. It doesn't smell pooey, but it just reminds me of a baby's butt. And uh, they're not actually that soft for cotton wipes, they're quite like scratchy. Um, and I currently use like the simple micellar wipes, they're so soft and again, really nice and wet. So mm, I don't know about these, they, they remove my makeup nicely, but not like well enough for me to repurchase them again. I'm kind of like, eh, and they were not that cheap. I think these were like four pounds for a pack of these wipes. So yeah, I, I don't know. They've not exactly been my favorite. So yeah, for that reason, they're a miss. So the last product that I've not been liking in the month of June, I have some real doubts about putting it in this video because I love the brand. And this is the Revlon Color Stay Makeup Normal to Dry Foundation. I don't know what it is about this foundation, but every time I wear it, I just feel like I'm not having a good makeup day. I, d I literally don't know what it is. My friend who's got the, I, th I think it's the same one, but obviously like in a, it's got like an oily to normal, like normal to oily skin. She really loves it. 
and I don't know what it is but I do not get along with this foundation. At first I thought I'd had the wrong colour so I was like maybe it's too light for me but to be honest I don't really think that the colour's got anything to do with it because I went into the store again to try on the shade darker and it was just a bit too dark so I was like no this is kind of the right colour for me I can always just bronze it up in places but it just like kind of breaks up on my skin and it just doesn't sit nicely nothing really blends nicely on top of it um, I'm yet to try it out with like a beauty oil or something but I don't know I've not been loving it I've not been loving it so that's it for my June hits and misses I really enjoy making these videos so if you really enjoy watching them too give me a massive thumbs up so I know whether to do them or not every month carrying on all the products I have used today will be in the description bar below so please check that out if you thought of any of the products that intrigued you or that you want to try out of course I am throwing no shade to any of the products I didn't like this month they just didn't work out for me that's not to say that they won't work out for you and vice versa for the things that I loved they're just the things I didn't like and did like in the month of June. If you guys particularly didn't like anything or did like anything in the month of June, please put it in the comments down below because I'd really like to know if there's a product that I should be trying out or should be avoiding. So do pop that in the comments below because I really love reading them. And yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please give me a massive thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Come on. Raspberry. It is the Hula. Hula, hula, the hula contour, contour. <laughs> what? So my next, so my next, <laughs> so my, get it together, girl. Another, another fave, another.